I read a lot of questions on the Genome forum asking how do I download designs from the internet? How do I save them? How do I transfer them to my external flash drives? And also, I've downloaded, but I can't find the download. And most of these are Windows 7 users. There are Windows XP users still who ask similar questions, but unfortunately, I've got a Windows 7 computer, so I can't help with the Windows XP anymore. And I can't help with the Windows 8 users but I have a feeling Windows 8 is not totally removed from Windows 7. People that I've come across who own Windows 8 and have learned how to use it assure me that it is very similar. The main difference being you don't have the classical desktop and the classical start button, but you do have regions on your screen. I believe you access the, right, the start button by clicking on the lower left and you access all these types of things on the lower right. I've forgotten what they said was up in the left, top left and top right. Okay, so let's get on with this. And first of all, I'm going to deal with the downloads. Now, I use two programs. I use Internet Explorer 9, because I've got a Windows 7 machine, and Google Chrome. I'm going to open my Internet Explorer and my home page is set to Yahoo. It saves me trundling through looking at things like find my mail etc because I don't use a computer mail handler. I use a web server handler. Okay, so I'm going to start with Embroidery Library and I'm starting there because I've got plenty of orders that I can re-download. I ignore the first entry. I go straight to embroiderylibrary.com and I'm going to go to my order history and I'm simply going to download the last order. Now it offers me in zipped for download or zipped for email. It used to offer you zipped or unzipped. I always take a zip. So I'm going to click on that and because I'm using Yahoo Internet Explorer 9 I get a pop-up at the bottom. Yeah, it won't let me move it and if you look down here it says do you want to open or save? And if I just hit save or do that it tells me that it's completed. View downloads and there it is. There's my downloads. Location downloads. But where is downloads? If you're a new Windows 7 user, you don't know where on earth that is. I'm going to close that and I want you to look at the bottom of my screen. There is my start button. That's my Windows media player. These are icons that I have pinned to my bottom toolbar or as it's also known, task bar. I want this one. It's a folder and it's the Windows Explorer folder. So I'm going to open that. On the right, I've got my libraries area. Now in Windows XP, this would have been my documents, my music, my pictures, my videos. In Windows 7, it's been placed under library, but it's still the same folders. But this is what we want up here. Favorites, desktop, downloads, recent, and documents. I want downloads. And if I open this one, that's the contents of the file that I just downloaded. But it's in a zipped format, so I need to unzip it. But before I do that, I want to copy it. Then I want to go to where my folders are. Now, if you've only got one main hard drive, yours will probably be in documents. So I'm going to click on documents. And because I don't use my C drive for storing things on, because I've got an additional one, two, three, four drives plus an external, I'm going to have to create a new folder. And I do that by using this command in the top toolbar, new folder. And while it's got a blue rectangle in it, I immediately rename it embroidery. Now it's moved because I have mine arranged by alphabetical order and I'm going to open that and I'm going to make another new folder. And while it's got the blue rectangle, I'm going to rename that Embroidery Library. I will delete these out afterwards because I've already got all these folders elsewhere. I click off, I open it, I create another new folder. 
And this is what is known as creating a filing system. Okay, and this one I'm going to call loose fill flowers. Click off, open that one, right click into the empty folder, tell it paste. Now my zip is inside my loose flowers fold, loose fill flowers inside of embroidery library. So I right click into that and I tell it extract all extract. There is my design file so I'm going to pop my zip into that design file and all I had to do was left click on it and then drag it with left mouse button down over that icon. There are the designs. Now I have an iconizer so you may not see little pictures when you open yours and what an iconizer does is it turns your graphic files or your embroidery files into a pictorial image for you. And so what Pro does a lovely little iconizer and I believe it's about $20 and it makes looking for designs so much easier. Okay so those are my designs inside of that folder that I've just created. So if I go back to documents there's my embroidery folder. I open it there's my embroidery library folder. Now let's say I had another folder from Amazing Designs. I don't actually own any Amazing Designs. And I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go back to my internet. Well, now that I've downloaded that one, I want to go back to the home, which puts me back in the search bar. Amazing Designs, amazingdesigns.com. I don't really want to buy any designs. I have thousands and thousands of them. So we'll just download a free one. And which one will we take? It looks though like I'm going to have to subscribe. Yes, they want to log in. And I don't really want to subscribe to Amazing Designs. I get enough mail as it is. So I'm going to tell that one close. And I'm going to go back to Embroidery Library. Okay, now there were two products in here, so I'm going to open that again and tell it I want this one downloaded again. Only this time, instead of hitting save, I'm going to use the little downward facing arrow, save as, and immediately I get a dialog box. Save as, and this is where do you want to save it to? On the left my navigation bar. I'm going to go to Libraries, Documents, Embroidery, Embroidery Library, Loose Fill Flowers and tell it save in there please and it tells me it's completed. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to Windows Explorer on my bottom tasks bar, go into Documents, embroidery and let's see if it has in fact put it inside the embroidery library folder. Loose fill flowers, there it is. I right click on it, I tell it extract all. Extract, pop that one by left clicking on it and then dragging it and putting it in there. Always save your zip files. If you make a mistake, you can always go and unzip the designs and you'll get new copies of your designs that you may have accidentally overwritten. It's easily done. Okay, so that's using Internet Explorer 9. So let's look at using Google Chrome. I get a totally different window. Now because I haven't signed in, I can't return to this window each time. I have to open a new tab and then when the new tab opens, close the old tab. I won't sign in, sign up to Google. Okay, where else do I have designs that I've got to down order history? I'll tell you what, we'll go to Dover Pictura. And I'm going to sign in. I have a mouse which you only have to breathe on and it moves. 
Thank you. And go to My Collections and re-download one of my collections. I love sites which keep a history. Now it's offering me my navigation route and I'll put that one in my documents. I'll create a new folder for it which I'm going to have to delete afterwards because I don't like storing on my C drive because I've got a small C drive but then I've got a very large storage area. OK, I'm going to tell that open and tell that save to that folder. And of course I forgot this is a huge one. 573 megabytes. <laughs> And this little box down here tells me how it's doing. This little green arm goes all around there. And you watch it filling up to let you know how much has come down. And at the moment it's only downloaded 51. Well, I can't wait 14 minutes. So... I'm going to cancel that because I don't have 14 minutes to spare on the video. Tell that stop. Yes. That's a pity. I shouldn't have clicked on that one and then not bothered looking. So I'll go into my documents and there's my graphics folder. It's empty because I had to abort the download. But I would have done exactly the same as I had done with the embroidery designs unzipped it by right clicking on it and then extract all it would have placed it in a folder inside of my graphics folder now in the next video I will show you I will tell you first and then how you format your external media device your USB or your compact flash card and then I will show you how you can transfer designs onto those devices to actually send to your embroidery machines and your embroidery machines will treat them as an external drive there is no need to transfer designs into the machine memory okay I'll see you in the next video